Hello everyone, Miss Gretchen with Rubies and Moonstones. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I hope that you will like it here and would consider subscribing. And if you are returning, welcome back. I really do value each and every one of you and thank you so much for your support. Today I want to talk to you about Diamond Art Club's new perforated covers and what I have learned to do as I have worked with this canvas. I've seen a lot of people making comments on Facebook and things like that about troubles that they've been having and, and I've struggled to find some of the workarounds for that too. But I just thought I would share what I have done as I have worked through my first perforated canvas. So I am by no means an expert here but these are the suggestions that I currently have. One of the first things I should point out is that I have seen that Diamond Art Club is already talking about making improvements to the perforated cover. I think it's a great idea. It's really a nice idea. And the most difficult thing is you can't see where the lines are. And, and what I saw them doing is adding a line where the perforations are to make it more visible. And I think that that would be great. And maybe that would really help solve some of the issues. Um, Another thing I thought I would point out is that if you don't like it, don't, don't use it. You don't have to. It's an option, but you can still use your washi tape method or cover minder method or whatever method you were using before. So if, if you don't like the perforations, then just don't use them. I think it's good to give everything a bit of a try. Um, at least that's my motto is kind of try everything once within reason. But... Um, if it's not for you, it's not for you. So just go back to what is. But I just thought I would share the few things that I have learned as I have worked through my first canvas. One of the things that I have done is on the edges, it's more easy to see where that line is when you lift up the cover. And I'm sorry, I don't know if this is really going to show up on the screen or not. But by doing so, you can identify where the line is and then you can see which row it lines up with and then I've taken my washi tape as you can see and I have identified okay it's right above where my washi tape is and then I've just laid the washi tape going all the way across the canvas in this row. Now I'm not someone who lays out my washi tape all the way along before I start across the entire canvas but you definitely could do that because you could do that on this bottom edge here too and maybe this perforation may be easier to see it's already torn a little bit um, so you could also obviously do the same thing going this way lift up the edge and identify where the perforation is see which row it lines up with and then lay your washi tape I only do about one row of washi tape at a time because I have the rest of it rolled up when working on a bigger canvas. So I found myself when going through the middle, especially needing to literally feel where it was with my nail. And I would feel where it was with my nail because you can't see it, light pad or no light pad. And then by feeling it with my nail, I could see, okay, it's, it's right here on this one. So this is, the line that's going to be next to it and I identify one at the top or bottom or side wherever I'm working at. I'd identify the symbol that is right next to where the perforation is and then lay my washi tape down going all the way along it so that when I go to tear then my washi tape is already there. As you can see I already have my washi tape laid here that's what I already did. That's another thing that I have heard people complaining about is they don't like how big or small the sections are. And again, that's a, a personal preference. So if, if you don't want to work in just the four by four square, then you can work in two. Um, and that's what I have done. I have 
made this into, there you go. I've made this so that it's two sections. Oh, you can actually kind of see the perforation, great. If you like working in the small squares, then that's great. You can just work on one at a time. If you want to work on a bigger section, then you can peel off two. And I even have done it so that in another area, I wanted to do an, the entire eye, and that wasn't within this square. So I laid the washi tape where I wanted it, and I just brought out my ceramic knife. Um, and, and cut it like I used to do so that it would include all of the area that I wanted. And that brings me to my next point. Another complaint that I have heard is that there might be some leftover film after you tear, um, or because the perforations don't line up perfectly with the squares and the street edges, that that frustrates people. Well, so what I have done when that has happened is I just take out my little ceramic cutting tool. And if you haven't seen this before, I hope this is focusing, I can't really tell. There's just a little tiny sharp end to this. And it's not so sharp that it's going to cut through your canvas, but sharp enough that it will cut through the cover. And, um, if there's an extra piece, then I just take this and cut it off like I would have if I made a mistake on the original canvas. Same thing if the line isn't straight, then I'll just take this and, and cut a little bit more off so that I have that extra piece removed. When feeling for this spot and laying down the washi tape. I mean, that has kind of worked for me, but I also was thinking about it when I was explaining this to my mother and had the idea that you could also do it this way. Um, and this has been another difficulty for some people. It's hard to get underneath the cover. I haven't really struggled with that. I just use my fingernail and scrape a little bit and eventually I get a hold of it. So one of my suggestions would be instead of having to feel for where it is and lay the washi tape down, and I think I'm going to start doing this from now on. I'm going to just find the section that I want, find the perforation. And then when you tear it, I say, don't be too timid. Give it a good little tug. because it's relatively strong covering. So you give it a little tug, especially to get it started. And then since I'm peeling off this one, I'm going to kind of gradually tear in this direction towards the perforation. And you can hear it going. Granted, I did do that a little bit more slowly, but it was more for your benefit than mine. I have also started just folding over the bottom and it folds really nice where that perforation is. And then that way when I'm done or, you know, if I haven't done as much as I want to, then I can just lift the cover, which is great. So anyways, once you have, now I have to find it again. Once you have, peel this off. Then you can take your washi tape and go by, again, it's going by feel, but it's also going by sticky. And there is a slight difference in the coloration between where the tape, where the sticky is and where the cover is. And so then you can feel or try and visually see where it ends. And I believe it's there. And then lay the washi tape down, going along that line. Because I don't know about you, but I get frustrated if I am laying down diamonds and with the clear cover, 
I don't know that it's not a sticky spot anymore and I'm trying to lay over here and they're not sticking and I don't understand why. So that's why I like to still lay the washi tape down is because then I know, okay, that's where I need to stop. And I really think that by going by that feel or just going ahead and tearing it and, and then laying down the washi tape, I think that's the way to go. And I've done this entire canvas and I'm only just coming up with that. So um, I'm sure others will have better ideas too, but the more you work with it, the more ideas you come up with. So that's one of my suggestions to help you find where the edge is and then to just lay down your washi tape to help you identify where the end of the cover used to be or where the new cover starts. I will be working on this whole section though, so I'll end up pulling this down and then I'll peel it back up. But that's what I like. So this is another complaint that I've heard that the perforated squares are not four by four on the edges. Well, they're just not going to be. They're going to be four by four in the middle, but then on the edge, that's going to be the hangover onto the end of the canvas. And so, yeah, those pieces are gonna be a little bit smaller. If you don't wanna work in such a small section, I, I wouldn't be surprised if someday I get a perforation right here that this is the only part that would be peeled off and it's only 10 spaces in or 10 lines in. All right, well, I'll just go one more over or put my washi tape down and, and cut it for where I want it to be. The last thing that I think that I'll, I want to show you is just another tear. So let me adjust the camera here. I'm not sure if you can see the perforation here again, but if you can get up two sections when you're trying to tear them, and tear it this way, you're gonna have an even better, more crisp line tear. And then you can just lay this back flat. So that would be another suggestion. Um, so that you don't end up having strange curves or extra pieces on your lines. Those are my suggestions. I really kind of like the perforations. Um, I do think that it will be better once they actually put those lines in, but until they do, I think if I have a kit that has them, I will continue to, tr to try and use them. And when there is a section that I want to do the entire thing of, I'm just going to cut it out like I used to with my ceramic blade. So, I can, I just got these off of Amazon. They were in a set of four. I can put a link in the description below. I, I will wrap up this video now. I think I have rambled on long enough. If you have any questions, if I wasn't clear on my suggestions, um, please be sure to leave them in the comment section below and I will get back to you. If you have any ideas that I haven't tried yet, please let me know because I'm all about trying new things and seeing what works. Um, but again, I just wanted to share with you today what I have tried and what I have found to be successful for me when working with the new perforated cover. And again, I, I kind of like it. I do. I, I think that their, their changes will be good, but in the meantime, I like it. Well, that'll be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing so that you can see more of my content as I create it. And of course, if you have any questions or comments or suggestions or ideas, anything, please leave them in the comment section below. If you did make it to the end of this video, I'd love it if you would leave just a little bird emoji at the end as I am still working on Purnell. But as you can see, I'm getting very close to the bottom. So Purnell from Diamond Art Club, we're getting close. All right, that'll be it. Thanks again. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye-bye, everybody.